In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Kittle to quickly make stickers that sell really well on Redbubble. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. And in this video, I wanted to teach you how to quickly make stickers using Kittle. Now I'm going to show you what kinds of stickers sell really well on Redbubble first, and then can show you what kinds of things do well there. And then we're gonna go into Kittle and kind of duplicate those kinds of things. I'm gonna show you how to do text ones. I'm gonna show you how to do ones with banners, inside of shapes, and so on. So you wanna to stick to this. I'm gonna show you how to do it really quickly. Uh, Kittle doesn't have a sticker section, but I'm gonna show you how to use bookmarks on Kittle to kind of save the things that you really like. So. Let's get into Redbubble first. I'm gonna show you the kinds of stickers that sell well on Redbubble. Now's the best time. People buy lots of stickers during Q4. I'm getting lots of sticker sales right now. So I wanted to show you the kinds of stickers that sell well on Redbubble so that you can upload those as well to your shop. All right, so here we are on Redbubble. You can see I just typed in stickers and I'm doing best selling right here. So I did the drop down and did best selling. Now let's look at the types of stickers that sell well on Redbubble. So we got text ones right here and Kittle does text really well. Uh, you got a circle one with text inside and uh, graphics inside. Now there's lots of those, I'll show you those. You can see another circle one. They also do a lot of artwork. Now you can't just take um, some of the graphics and just make them into stickers. You're gonna have to add things to the graphics and things and I'll show you how to do that. But you can see text in a shape, just text again, uh, text with a graphic, right? Um, and then here's some badges, I call these badges. Uh, like ribbon and stuff, that does really well. You can do that really easy in Kittle. I'll show you that. Uh, let's see what else you got here. Uh, text again, right here, this banner with the B, I'll show you how to do something like that. Again, circle with text. These kinds of things do really well on, on Kittle. And again, if you're an artist and you can draw your stuff, then of course you'd wanna do things like this where you're hand drawing things, I would say do that as well. You can't really do hand drawn things on Kittle, but Kittle is really good for some of these other things, right? like putting graphics together, banners. You don't have to draw your own banners. They have banners uh, and things in circles and things like that. So text, banners and circles. We're gonna do that for now. Um, of course, there's lots of other things on here that, that Kittle can do too. So let's get into Kittle right now and I'll show you some of those three basic ones that you can do super quick. So here we are on Kittle, kittle.com right here, uh, K-I-T-T-L.com. And you can see I'm just right on the home page. I haven't logged in. I, I've logged in, but I haven't gone anywhere else. This is the home page. You can see, and right away you can see Kittle starting to do some sticker stuff. I bookmarked this one. This was done by Kittle. I'm gonna click on it, and you can see it looks. This these would make really cool stickers, right? I would change the words, of course, but these would look really cool as stickers, right? Um, their logo. So if you go into logos here, you might find a lot of stickers. And one thing you might have noticed is I bookmark these. So when I find something that looks like a sticker or find something that I really like, I'm gonna bookmark it. I'm gonna look for here, you can see I bookmarked this one because I think that would make a great uh, text sticker. Um, let's see what's another one. Okay, let's say I love this one because this would make a great sticker, right? It's in a badge. So I'm gonna click on here, Gray Wolf, uh, and then click on these dots right here, call them the meatball dots. Uh, and then you can see bookmark. So now that one is bookmarked. I can use this for later, I can change the words, make this a nice sticker. And I can go down here and scroll and see, and suggested some of these as well, I could bookmark those. Uh, let's see, yeah, see? That one I bookmarked already looks like a great sticker. That one would be a cool sticker too, but um, more of a shirt, I think. But if I like that, I could bookmark that. So same thing, click on it, do here, bookmark. Now, how do you find your bookmark? Is you come here and go to your profile and go to profile and you'll see bookmark right at the top here. And here's all the ones that I bookmarked, right? So once you have a list of things that you like, maybe you found some in badges, maybe you found some in circles, maybe you found some with free text and stuff like this, then you can go there and change it. So one easy way to do it is to make this a sticker. Let me just click on it, uh, use this design. And maybe I don't want everything back here. So I'm gonna take out, um, the background color, just so you can see it, because it's not a sticker. So then I'm just gonna release the texture here. Oh, I bet it's locked. So let me let me get rid of myself here. Uh, didn't check this. Yeah, it's locked. All right, so now I'm gonna release the back texture and delete it, good. Bring myself back. 
Sometimes you never know if it's locked or not. You got to check it. All right. Uh, it's kind of hard to see without the background color. I'm going to put it back white. And then maybe for a sticker, I don't want these here. Uh, I can ungroup that. Command G. Right. And then I'm going to want um, a different word. So let's say... And I'm going to do good vibes, although I think this is trademarked, but I'm just going to show you how, how you can change the words right there and then just kind of put it like that. Maybe I want this here. So now I can use this. It's different, right? Make a great sticker. It's just text, right? And then we got some cool stuff. Now, if you don't want to use this, Kittle also has some really cool things um, on here. I'm going to get rid of this and I'm just going to go to text. Now, if you want to use like decorated text, you can do stuff right here. Kiddo already has some, and these would make really cool stickers, right? So, boom, let's say, um, read, whoops, all caps, read more books. And I can select all and go left. Now, this would be a really cool sticker. It's just text, right? And you can do this with all kinds of text. Now, I would do the research and figure out what text you want to put in here. But you can see some really cool things like, let me get rid of this one and then do adventure. Like this would be a really cool um, sticker as well if you just change the words to something else, right? Or maybe explore more, right? And we can uh, put that together. Maybe cinch that up here. Well, that, that's a cool sticker right there, right? So that's just text. The thing I forgot is when you make one, let's make sure that the settings are the right settings for Redbubble. So uh, if you're just going to do stickers, it needs to be 2800 by 2800 if you want the super big size. So let me show you what that is. By default, almost everything here is 1200 by 1200. Now, that would fit on the small stickers, but if you want it to work on all stickers, then it would be 2800 by 2800. Boom. And the nice thing about Kittle is you can just scale this. So once you have it, just scale it to fit, right? And you can change the colors on this. Like if you don't want it to be that color, you know, change it to be a blue or something. Like why not? Right? So very cool, very easy to do. So that's text. You can come in here, either find a design uh, that has text in it, like that you bookmark, or just come in here and do the decorated text or any of these text ones. Like this vintage tech stuff is really cool too, right? So all of this is just text. You're not even adding graphics yet. You're just using their tech stuff. So the next thing I wanna show you is badges. So you're here still in the text, right? Text, and we did the decorated text. Now we have badges. So check a, take a look at all of these badges. Look at that. All of those look as great stickers, right? So all you have to do is click on one of these. Let's click on this one and then scale it up, right? To kind of fit the thing. And then you can change the color if you want. You can change the text. Um, maybe you want it to say best mom ever. I'm going to ungroup all of these. Um, and then I'm going to just click on here, best mom. And then I'm going to scale it. So just take those corners. Look how easy this is. Okay, just fits it in there. And then I'm going to do option, click, drag, down and then ever and Kittle has some of the best fonts on the internet so I can go here and do ever oh maybe I want it uh, upper lowercase there we go but now make it smaller here and bigger best mom ever so super simple and you can do whatever you can put flowers in here like it's already done right so those are badges. And again, if you want to go back to your profile, I'm going to leave this and then go to bookmarked. You may have bookmarked things that look like badges. So like this right here, um, these are like badges as well. And these are in circles like this is already done, right? So let's click on here and you can start typing, use this design and start typing. Just make sure that it's the right size. So 2800 is what you're shooting for, for stickers. But if you want to use this as a t-shirt design, because I think it would be a cool t-shirt design as well, 
uh, you can do that. Let's go, I'll show you this one as a t-shirt design. So this would make a great sticker, right? So let me use this and, and a t-shirt, I think. So I'm gonna use this design. And if you wanna put it on a t-shirt, I would suggest doing it like 5,400, like March by Amazon size, and Kittle can do that. So we're gonna do here, 5,400. 5400. I'm just going to keep it a square. There we go. And confirm. And you can see all I have to do is grab this and scale it. Boom. And it scales because everything's like a vector SVG kind of thing. And maybe I want this to say, you know, uh, Arizona instead. Right. And maybe uh, I want a different font. Right. I don't want this one. I want uh, like an adventure font. So yeah, maybe one that's a little, see, I could, I could change it, whatever I want. Oh, that's a cool one. And I could make it the same color as everything else. Boom. See that? And then I could do, uh, let's see, just for fun. Let's change this to something else. Um, Explore more, whatever, right? I'm just changing it a little bit. Boom, how cool is that sticker? That's a really cool sticker and you can put more stuff in here, maybe, um, maybe a graphic again, but you're already halfway there. This would make a really cool sticker. Make sure when you download it to get rid of the background. So I'm gonna, you know, get rid of the background color um, we can release the texture as well, or we could clip the content. Well, you can't see it with the background color. Let's do the background color there, or maybe white. There. So that's the sticker. Really cool, right? Okay, one more thing I want to show you. Hopefully this video is not too long. I'm going to go back to my profile and bookmarks. So the other place where you can find your bookmark designs is if you did a new project, and you click on here, let's do one. And if you click on my projects and my design, so my projects are the ones you're working on. My designs are their bookmarked ones right here. So you can just click on this and easily do your bookmark stuff right here. So these are all the bookmark stuff that I just showed on there. Just a real quick access to it if you're already on this part of Kittle. So no need to go back and forth if you don't want to. You can just go right here and then start clicking on these and use these as your sticker starting points. Do I have anyone with a, no, I don't see one with a banner, but we can do one real easy. So let's do um, elements and we can do banner. Boom. So look at all these banners. So cool, right? Um, and let's do that. Um, switch it. You know, 180, make it bigger. Now we saw something like this. Uh, in in red bubble, right? I'm gonna do uh, just a paw. So we're in elements again. I'm gonna do paw. We saw that paw earlier. The other one. Look, you can just put that there. That would make a cool sticker. Maybe put this in the back. I'm right clicking, and then putting this in the back. Send to back, right? And now I can write stuff on here. So let's do text. I'm just gonna hit T. There's my text. I'm gonna to put toe, on all caps, toe beans. I think I've seen that before. Now again, you're gonna to have to check uh, trademarks and stuff like that. I'm just putting things that I did. But if you do your research here, and then I want like a rounded font. So let's see what we got. Look at all these fonts, really cool. Uh, oh, this one will be cool, toe beans. And then we want it to fit this. So first, let's make it the right size, right? Uh, I can custom it right here. Drag this to the middle of that. Drag this to the middle of this. And this should be in the middle of that whole thing. And now we can just take it like that. Pull those handles down, right? Look at that, fits perfect in there. And now we just wanna color everything. So um, we can color everything the right color. I could group this and then do um, those fancy colors. Let me move myself out of here 
and let's do project colors. And I can use these palettes now. Check this out. Isn't that cool? It will color it for you. So pick one that you like. Um, I don't know. Any one of these is pretty cool. And go like that. And if you don't like that color, you can still come in here and maybe I want to make these more pink or something, right? You can do that. Right? And maybe you want maybe you want Tobin's pink too. You can pick the same colors. Oh no, that didn't work. <laughs> maybe you want this the same color. Yeah, there we go. And maybe maybe the lightness is white like that. Look at that. I think that's a cool, cool sticker right there. And we're using banners. And you, there's tons of banners, right? So you could do it with a B, you can do it with whatever graphic you want. Pick a graphic, put a banner on it, and then make that a um, design. So let me show you how to do this. I'm just gonna make sure that this is the right size, right there, and I'm gonna export. So let's download this thing, 5400 by 5400. Don't worry about 72 DPI, it's still gonna be uh, big enough size. I'm gonna remove the background, optimize quality, and hit PNG. So I'm gonna bring this into Redbubble. I'll show you how easy it is to drop it in. All right, so here we are on Redbubble, redbubble.com. Uh, your homepage may look different depending on what you saw, but you're just gonna click on your account and hit add new work. And it's gonna think about it. And then we're gonna drag in that uh, design that we downloaded from Kittle. So here we go, that artboard one. I didn't name it, I should have named it, but it's PNG, you can see right there. I'm gonna just call it Toe Beans. And then use other keywords like cat and paw and cute and whatever it is. And then write your tags. I, I can show you how to do that later, but I'm gonna show you how it comes in for the sticker. Check this out. It has that cut right there with the white around it. So you don't have to do that. And it's perfect. It's right there. It's done. Uh, and you can put it on different things. If you think it looks good on a t-shirt, you know, put it there. I don't know if this makes a great t-shirt, but if you like it, I'm gonna turn everything off. Um, just so you can see the stickers, so. But of course, if you want to leave it on, leave it on um, for New Year's. All right, so I turned everything off by default. Of course, you're gonna wanna make sure you put your tags in your description, and then you're gonna wanna pick uh, different media. I'm gonna say digital art, illustration, and if you have a stickers uh, collection, like I talked about last time, put it in that stickers. And if it's not mature content, of course, pick no, and then optimize this for stickers if you're just doing stickers, right? Now, if you're gonna wanna put it on multiple things and stickers isn't your main thing, then don't do it. But I'm gonna do it just for stickers because I did that and make sure to click that. And we're gonna save our work. And then it's gonna take a little while, but I'll show you what it looks like on a sticker. I think it looks really cool, this one. And all the other ones, the, the text ones will look cool, the badge ones will look cool, right? Um, I just did this one. so. Um, Check that, oh, I forgot to uncheck the hat, but take a look at these stickers. They're really cool, and if you wanna see downloads of it, oh, that's the magnet. Let's do download images of these. You can see people will put their stickers on like their water bottle and stuff, and I think that, that'd be really neat on their water bottle, right? And this was, was like a really simple one. We can do something more extravagant with all the different badges and, and put flowers in there and bees and whatever graphics, right? So have fun with that. I, I hope, uh, I'm gonna ask Kittle to see if they can make a sticker section because I think stickers can do, there's tons of things you can do on Kittle for stickers. So that is it for this video. That's how easy it is to make stickers quickly and really nice stickers, I think, on Kittle. You can see we did three or four in the matter of minutes and you can scale these, right? You can just change the words, change the colors, uh, change the graphics and and there were a ton of them already made especially for badges and text and there's tons of banners like uh, And then don't forget to bookmark all those things So if this was really helpful for you make sure to give it a thumbs up And if you not you're not subscribed to this channel already make sure to hit that subscribe button right there The question of the day for this video is what do you use to create your stickers for Redbubble? Or do you make stickers for Redbubble? Let me, let me know in the comments below. I think this is a great resource. Um, let me know what you use or if you do it at all. Thanks again for watching. And if you wanna see more Kittle videos, make sure to click on these right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.